Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Richard here, and uh, uh, just a chance to go through some of the wonderful finds that uh, I've found recently in the uh, charity shop community here in Kent, in the United Kingdom. Um, and uh, I thought I'd just run through these quickly with you today uh, as uh, part of the programme. Um, this one here is a EP by a chap called Dickie Valentine. It's this one's entitled Dickie, uh, Dickie Valentine Swings. Uh, it turns out that uh, when I've checked uh, Dickie Valentine out on the internet, that uh, he was a very popular chap in, in the 1960s and died, actually, very tragically in a car accident, I think in Wales, when he was actually travelling in his wife's Ford Anglia uh, about 90 miles an hour down this road that he did know quite well and on board he had the drummer and also other members of the band and they were all killed outright in this smash on a bend uh, doing this. Uh, so he, his cause of death was, was apparently misadventure. He, he, they think that uh, what probably what had happened is that um, he, he may have been very tired. It was four o'clock in the morning and uh, the vehicle just uh, left the road. Um, but I think he's actually got an extremely nice voice. Uh, this particular record... Um, has got uh, some of his uh, uh, some of his songs on here. Then side one, for example, all the things you are, I want to be around, and a cockeyed optimist, and uh, once in a while. And then side two has got um, uh, I can't get started, day in day out, there'll never be another you. This is actually a 33 RPM, not a 45. And uh, uh, so, of course, I've put it on the. Um, uh, the Rotel RP1000 deck playing through the uh, Technique system and of course it was uh, far too uh, fast so I had to slow him down but um, it is actually a very nice album so much so that I've actually found a 10 inch uh, early album on eBay of him and I've actually won that on a on a bid so well hopefully I have I haven't checked yet so I'm looking forward to more of his, his uh, sound he's got a, a very clear voice and um, you can find him on on uh, YouTube, uh, and uh, and he's certainly got a slightly distinctive voice as well. But always, often of the time, I think it's very 1950s, uh, 1960s as well. So, uh, but I thought it was quite a stunning photograph when we were on this particular one. Uh, the next one is by Richard Anthony. Now, this is another interesting guy. Uh, when I picked this uh, EP up, um, he's actually French and. Um, so, um, and I'm just trying to remember what the detail was, but again, uh, something of the of the 1950s. Uh, this is on a this is an EP. Um, I'm not even going to try and use my French to uh, to tell you what those titles are. If you can read French, then you'll know. It's on the Columbia label, and uh, a little bit about him there. Um, and he was born in 1939. Uh, and I think he died in about 1971, I think he died altogether, Richard Anthony. So, uh, and I have to say, I had to do a, a, a double take because um, uh, the pictures of him on, on the internet don't look anything like this. He actually put a lot of weight on, and uh, like people do, I suppose, when they get older, and had a beard. And I thought, is it the same man? Anyway, it was, but uh, there you go. But nice voice, all the same. Uh, Roger Williams, At the Piano, Volume 3. Um, very nice tune, this one. Waiting for you, La Seine, L'Amour, Sing in the Rain. Singing in the rain. Um, I don't know much about uh, Roger at all, but he's, this is on the London Records label, another EP and a little bit about him on the back. As you can gather, I'm quite a collector of EP. I much prefer them than, than just singles, but I have got a lot of singles as well. Now, this one here, uh, if I get the shadow off there, this is uh, a real gem. This record I found, uh, uh, it's by Ivan Novello, and if anyone knows, I'm a great fan of Ivan Novello. I'm just going to adjust the camera there. There we go. And uh, he's with Vanessa Lee in this one. This is King's Rhapsody. And he actually, on side uh, two, speaks the story quite a bit of, of King's Rhapsody. Uh, and uh, it's all his, Olive Gilbert, Phyllis Dare, Dennis Martin and Larry Mar Mandon are on here too. Um, I mean, Ivor doesn't actually sing. He just speaks, really. But uh, I think this is a wonderful picture of him. Sorry about the shadow. Uh, and um, that's better. Uh, but and um, but the clarity on this ten inch is amazing. Um, all the highs are there, and no distortion whatsoever. I think it's a marvelous record. I'm very 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 fond of this. It was f found amongst a load of twelve inch LPs in the Oxfam shop in Maidstone, and um, I just came across it by accident. 
often 10 inch seem to hide amongst all the others and I say it's worth going through sometimes you just never know what you're going to come across I've come across quite a few this way but again it was about two quid I mean two pounds I mean it's so cheap uh, the next one I found some a little while ago but I haven't showcased on so I thought I'd make L. Johnson's souvenir on the Brunswick there's a couple of these these came together uh, Morris uh, Stalloff orchestra here quite a few um, whoops quite a few uh, of his songs on this one um, waiting for you, for the Robert uh, L. Lee when you are sweet 16 golden gate I'm sitting on the top of the world Tooti, toot, toot, tootsie which of course is his famous one from the jazz singer um, back in your own backyard Carolina in the morning and Lisa uh, so quite nice actually and uh, obviously advertising long playing flexible micro groove record at the bottom there so that's a good one that one uh, second one from the collection uh, with L. Johnson get the shadow off that um, is uh, with his orchestra again with the same person uh, with Morris and uh, some more this is volume three that was uh, the first one didn't have a volume on it so I assume it was probably the first one and then they went volume one two and three but more wonderful tracks now Bing Crosby's features quite a bit on 10 inch and I've got a few of his this one's called down memory lane volume one um, and there's numbers like please, I found a million dollar baby, I wonder what, what's become of Sally and so on. Another very nice record. Uh, this was an interesting one, this is the Water Gypsies uh, and uh, I quite like this one, Peter Saunders presents, Saunders presents Water Gypsies. Original cast of the Winter Garden Theatre production directed by Charles Hickman and again it's an operetta uh, and there you've got uh, the two gentlemen on there uh, and um, very nice actually. Um, Dora Bryan actually features on there and of course Dora Bryan is quite a famous comedian uh, or was a famous comedian. She, she In the UK she starred in a program called Last of the Summer Wine uh, with Thora Heard and uh, she was her sort of rancy little elderly friend who always spoke said the wrong thing at the wrong time because they're all so PC uh, but I've quite, a, quite an interesting really uh, and some really nice monologues on here as a part of the of the play, as it were. So interesting record. Water music uh, handles uh, handled by um, Sir Malcolm Sargent and uh, uh, conducted by the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Um, so a firework for music, very very nice. Uh, this one uh, and. Um, so very very pleasant. I quite like this. A bit of a classical one there. Uh, quite good. Now the other ones I've got are are some other somebody gave me recently. This is uh, Diana Ross, Chain Reaction. This is a a special dance remix. I'm rather fond of that one by Diana Ross, um, and uh, I think I've actually uploaded that actually onto YouTube. You may have seen that already. Art Pepper, Omega Alpha. Now this is a very nice. This is from the Jazz File uh, section labels. And um, let's get that in shot. So three ninety nine at the time. Um, so number nice numbers here. Uh, and we've got uh, surf ride body and soul. Two place for comfort. Um, and and of course summertime. Now summertime's come out to be the most popular tune of all time. It seems I saw a BBC program about summertime. I didn't realise that, but I, ever, ever since then, of course, it actually comes up quite often. Um, fascinating rhythm. Begin the Begin and Web City, very nice on the Blue Note Classics EMI label there, very nice. This is Pure Time by Count Basie and his orchestra. This must be a quite a late one because um, I'm not so keen on this as I am some of his other stuff, but it may be just the way I was feeling at the time I played it. Um, Count Basie and orchestra, Prime Time, Bundle of, uh, Bundle of Funk, Sweet Georgia Brown, Feather White, uh, Feather Weight, I say, and side two, reaching out, uh, Jada, and great debate, and you're gonna try. I mean, it's Count Basie on piano, trumpets by Pete Minger, Lynn Bervernino, and Bobby Marshall, Sonny Sonny Cohen. I mean, it's really it's quite some of the greats are on there, but I don't know. I sometimes depends how I feel about playing that. So um, anyway, that's all of the recent ones. I think you've seen some of the others I've got here. This is an Al Boley num uh, on from the Al Boley Circle. Uh, this one I found a while ago, and it's got some good numbers on it. This one here is fairly recent. This is um, in New York. This is when Al, of course, went across to America, and I think it's got a very nice um, picture of him there. On the reverse side, there's a wonderful one 
uh, with Ray Noble. A very nice picture of Ray Noble. Some really nice numbers on here and um, they were recorded obviously from 78s uh, and um, the chap actually who did the transfer has sort of tried to give you the music hall feel. I have to say when people start messing around with sound from the original recordings it don't work and some of these do sound a bit like I'm lifting to it down a tube but there you go obviously it was an experiment at the time to try and give people an idea what it must have been like in a music hall or in a dance hall shall I say. Samantha Fox now touch me I want your body I can't say this is anything memorable in fact I would suggest that Samantha Fox probably made a few singles and then disappeared. She was an actress in a programme called EastEnders here over in the UK. Um, this isn't one of her better ones, I have to say. I think probably I might, you know, leave that to one side, as it say. Um, this one, of course, is the famous John Travolta in Greece, Oliver Newton John, and the motion. This is a, a, a gatefold album, and um, with all the bits inside. I mean, it is, I remember going to see this when it first came out in the cinema and thought what a great film it was. Uh, and uh, it's got lots of great songs on here. Uh, of course, Oliver Newton-John at the time was not a teenager, but, but dressed up like one, which I always found rather amusing. But um, a great album all the same, double album, and uh, good music on there. Uh, and as I, I've just put on there, that's a... a a record of Greece which I found a long time ago. Bronski beat, hip hits that perfect beat this one is. There's again a 12 inch single, uh, quite a nice tune. And then Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta. These are all the 70s, obviously somebody's having a bit of a clear out. Um, and this was again with great numbers from the Bee Gees on here and we know we've lost uh, one of the Gibb brothers recently. Uh, so another great uh, record album. So uh, anyway, that's that's all of those. Um, then there's some Irving Berlin ones I found. This one particularly I quite like. Uh, this is Irving Berlin, um, and the golden age of Irving, Ber Irving Berlin. Sixteen classic tracks, 1931 to 1938, uh, with the great British dance bands. So it's a very nice album. This one, and um, there we go. Um, and there's there's Obviously, there's greats on here from Ambrose and his orchestra, Mayfair Orchestra, and uh, several others there that are really good. The BBC Dance Orchestra with Harry Hall is on there. It's a really nice one, actually. I'm very fond of that one. Again, the great British dance bands play with Irving Berlin, 31 to 39. So, Harry Roy at the BBC Dance Orchestra, Savoy Orchestra, and uh, this is on the retrospective label. Some really nice numbers on here if you're a British dance band. <coughs> And somebody's obviously taken the trouble to underline some of the ones they like. And even with the liner notes are really good with plenty of interesting stuff on there. So I've often, I've often been playing that one quite a bit. The Jazz in the 30s. This is a very nice album. Again, retrospective label. And some, um, some really good finds on this one. So, um, again, Gatefold. I quite like this double album, Gatefold. Here we go. All the information you'd ever want. Uh, about this, uh, about the 30s. So very nice. Um, Joe Valentine, Eddie Long, Lang Blue 5, Joe Sullivan, uh, we've got Benny Goodman, his orchestra, and Bud Freeman. So you've got some really good ones. Somebody's made some notes here about which tracks to play as well, which I thought was quite interesting. So obviously a cherished album and some underlining going on. Now this one, the great um, Great British dance bands play Cole Porter. This is a second for me because I've already got this one already, but I do like this particular album, so I thought I'd buy one for the workshop as well. Again, a retrospective. So, um, and uh, plenty of line notes inside. A cherished double album, this one. So, uh, Teddy Wilson um, and... Um, It's a tribute to the famous uh, Thomas Fats Waller, a very nice Teddy Wilson album, and uh, the Black Lion Records. So, and uh, this was obviously somebody put the date on this one, the 20th of, of December 1975, when they bought this one. So, standing after Fats, blue turning uh, grey over you, and so on and so forth. Really nice, that one. 
And then Singing in the Rain with Gene Kelly and Debbie Reynolds. This is obviously from the motion, MGM motion picture track. And a lovely picture of Gene there, uh, obviously getting rather wet. And some interesting bits on the back, so we'll say. And then we've got Duke Ellington in concert. Um, this is a very nice, nice album. Uh, How High the Moon, Brown Betty, Don't Be So Mean to Baby, and loads of others, Dancers in Love, uh, and very nice album there. And then this one here I'm very fond of. This is Ross on Broadway, and Imondo Ross has recently died, but this is, uh, which is very sad, this is in Decca stereo phonophonic stereophonic stereophonic so i say um and some very nice numbers on here i've already got amando ross doing mumbo uh, uh all of which on a 10 inch which always amuses me because all of his all his numbers are more mumbo 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 and so on i just find it rather amusing that every track was called mumbo but these are very nice i love paris from cole porter almost like being in love um and uh, what i got i could have Danced All Night from My Fair Lady, uh, Some Enchanted Evening from South Pacific, and Bewitched, uh, you know, Stranger in Paradise from Kismet. Some really nice numbers. I'm very fond of this album. It's on a, a flip back fold here, so um, dates from about the early 60s. Very, very nice. Okay, so that's all of the records. I just want to share with you a few other, other bits I found. Uh, recently as well. Two today, or yesterday, this one here is uh, about Ella, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, the, the incomprehensible Ella Fitzgerald. And this is a very nice uh, album. It's on F Vogue and um, there's loads of good numbers on here. Um, I've already got, as you probably gather from my other broadcast videos, I've got quite a lot of Ella. I just love her singing. She's slightly the cream on the coffee, she really is. She's got such a beautiful voice. It's so effortless and so beautiful that I could listen to her all day. So much so that I recently found a few CDs of hers because I've already got the Ella Fitzgerald songbooks on double cassette, which some of you may have, have seen me uh, showcase before. I don't think I've ever put any on YouTube. But, uh, so I got these wonderful ones to go with that and that's these ones. This is the um, three CD set and uh, plenty of information and uh, uh, and it's by the Not, I think it's Not um, Company, where are we? Yeah, it's Not Now, but, uh, and uh, you can look them up on the internet, but there's 22 tracks on each alt C CD and I'm going to do excuse me, a bit of a burp there, uh, I'm going to do a bit of a comparison because the dynamic range, as uh, this, my friend uh, Bad Edit Pro has been putting on uh, YouTube recently, the, the fact that you lose the top of the uh, volume, the CD, should I say, over volumes, and of course you're being compressed to get the amount of information on a disc, does alter the quality of the sound and your ears after a while don't like listening to the music and therefore want you to turn it off or turn it down. I have to say I think I've struggled a little bit. Uh, I have to make sure the volume control is quite low. Whether it's done to do with that or whether it's the quality of what's on there, I have to say these are very nice tracks but um, I thought I'd do a bit of comparison to see what which one sounds the nicest. I have played some of these because you've got this one which is the Cole Porter, uh, Rogers and Hart, and then this one, it, number second one I've got here, again there's three, C, three CD set, um, the um, Ella Fitzgerald songs, early, sings early in, early, early in Berlin and Duke Ellington, that's a very nice one, and the third one, which I'm still wading through, uh, sings George and Ira Gershwin, which is very nice, um, and again they're all recorded from the 1950s and 60s, uh, 57, I think most of her songbooks I've got before come out, but again, very good. One thing I do like about the packaging here is that you open this up and you've got these three CDs which look extremely like um, a record. Uh, and then if you take one, each one out, for example, I'll pop that one out, you've actually got a pictures behind. So it's quite well marketed, this actually, by Not Now. And there are lining, liner notes at the back which help to 
enhance your listening. So I would suggest that they're, they're quite a good set, those three. They were quite reasonable, and I got them on Amazon. Now, just to finish off, because I seem to be going on quite a bit, I've got some other CDs which I've got here. Uh, the first one is Raising Sand, and uh, this one I found by Robert Plant and Alison Caracas, I think, uh, Caracas, I think, uh, in the charity shop. That's quite nice. It's more sort of folky than anything else. Very nice. Some of you may know that one. Again, Irving Berlin, songbook. Say it with music. Funny enough, that picture is very similar to the, um, or in fact, it's the same photograph that's on the uh, album. Some very nice ones there, and um, some very nice bits there. Jack Payne, the BBC Dance Orchestra, L. Johnson. I have a feeling that these may have come from the same person that had handed, or the people that had in the last sort of records that uh, clearly was a famous Irving Berlin. Uh, fan, you know, on that disc. This one was made in the early 80s, soon after Compact Disc came out, uh, because it, it met, let, lets you know that by saying which sort of where the, the, the recordings were made from, and they were made from, of course, from the original. Uh, they weren't digitalised um, at all. And um, yes, 1987, I think this came out, this one here, so it's quite good. Now, I'm a great fan of Catherine Jenkins, uh, as she calls herself a classical sinner, singer. Uh, not a sinner, singer, um, and I know that she's been go she's been in America recently doing some tours out there. So some of my friends across the pond there will probably recognise her from that. But she sings so well on these, and I've now got I think it's three or four of hers. I'm just going to quickly run through them. No, no, three of them anyway. This is Catherine Jenkins' Living a Dream. This is Catherine Jenkins' Second Nature, and this is Catherine Jenkins. Uh, Sacred Arias, and that is to me one of the nicest CDs that she's done. Sacred Arias, and uh, the most recent, probably, of all of them. But they're all such beautiful singing. I have to say, on a CD, she sounds absolutely first class. It's real, real pleasure listening to her. So clearly, something gone right with the sound on these ones. And just to finish off, uh, Jazz Greats. This is Jazz Greats, uh, great uh, jazz voices, the woman, and these are all women singers. We've got Ethel Waters, Lena Horne, who I just love, and Peggy Lee, another great, great singer, D uh, Diana Washington, Mildred Bailey, and Boswell, the Boswell sisters. So, uh, uh, or Merrill, is it Merrill Bailey? Yes, and the Boswell sisters. They're great numbers. Anyway, that's all from me, and uh, hope to speak to you all very soon. And uh, take care till the next time. Bye for now.